Hello everyone, this is Bamadele from Delaroy Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Java Programming. We are continuing the string processing in Java. Uh, we'll be looking vividly at the string builder and string buffer. Yeah, what's the string builder? What's the string buffer? The string builder and string buffer are the preferred tools when string concatenation is non-trivial. More efficient than the plus, you know, when you're using concatenation, when we try to add the plus sign to concatenate together, you know, this string builder and string buffer are more efficient. You know, in concurrence, in where string builder, you know, when there's the, the not threaded safe or the string buffer, which is the thread safe, you know, we know we set the capacity to the size you actually need. Constant buffer resizing can also lead to performance problems you know it has its own ups and downs so you must actually know what you are going into before you start to use the stream builder or the stream buffer for this lesson i will try to run through an example on how to actually construct a string builder so i will run i will dash down to my netbeans IDE and create a new java class in the package called com.delaroy.strings Okay, right click and click my new Java class and I call it string building. Hmm, we are building a string, not bricks. String building. Okay, click on my finish. Um, what am I going to declare? It's going to be my main method. So the first line is the public static void main. Okay, parenthesis string. Bracket arguments x okay fine so I'm going to call on my stream builder class and instantiate stream builder okay sb so it's going to be um a new stream builder new string um builder with a parameter of up to five five hundred lengths. Yeah, that's actually a length. Okay, that's fine. Um now I'm going to append some things to SB dot append. What am I appending to it? Okay. Record. A comma. Um the lightning. The lightning okay flashed and the thunder rumbled rumbled okay that's cool okay I'm fine I'm gonna create a new line always remember to always create a new line so that Java will drop it down to the next line it all of what you're printing out to the console won't be rumbled up or won't be modeled together now I'm going to do something very quick here now. I'm still now I'm going to insert not append this time. So I want to insert it to the first line. So I'm going to insert something. Just look at the way I'm going to declare it. The first uh, index of an array is what? Zero. We're also going to use that rule here. Okay. So I'm going to attach it to the first index. I'm going to modify this to what? What am I, what am I going to attach there? That's what I'm saying. So I'm going to be eight was a dark and stormy night okay so what happened it was a dark and stormy night will be appended or will be inserted into the first line which is the first um the zero which is the first index so it will be appended somewhere here. Let me continue and you'll get to understand how it's, how it's really gonna work. So SB, I'm gonna append something else again. I might append it this time. Um, the lightning. What, what did the light struck? Wow. Blah, blah, blah. A new line. Close that up. So we're gonna append something again. Append 
that was we are all building a lot of string here, you know. Sometimes it's clumsy. We just got to follow on the bracket with some space. You get it? I close it up. I'm gonna use my for loop to iterate through. Because I've actually declared a lot of things, so that I'm going to use the capability of the index for. I hope you I hope you know how to declare a for loop. If you don't, I'll explain something about the for loop now. This is the counter variable. Into your i is always the first um, declaration in the for loop is always a counter variable, which is going to actually count the index. You know, while this other one get the length of the argument you know to actually know how many times to iterate when to stop and you know that's just the second argument that's just what the second argument does and the third argument will always add it's always probably an increment or a decrement we always add one two uh so that it's continue to move from one to two to three to four to five so that it won't just stop or get stuck you know that's just what that does Okay. Now I'm going to pass something to my for loop by calling on my SB and append. What am I appending this time around? I'm going to append the first uh, index, which is which is I. Okay. Now I'm going to use a small a small letter. The first index. I'm going to append something else again. Okay. Side more space. I'm going to append something. What am I going to append? Um, some space. Okay, that's fine. My for loop is cool. Okay. So out of my for loop, I'm going to still append some stuff. Append. I do a lot of append, and you know, don't let it bore you. That's just the rule of stream booty. Now I'm gonna close this bracket I open over here. Over here. I'm gonna close it now and call it times. We wanna know how many times is that gonna show up, you know. That's just what that is. So afterwards, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna print something out to the console. Dot out dot print line. While we're printing to the console this time. Okay. I'm going to do SB, the full SB, because we've, we've formed it to something, to string. We don't call to string on it. A place convert this to string for us and speed it out. That's just what I was going to do. First of all, we call on the string builder, you know, SB. We give it SB with a length of 500. We append the lightning flash and it's only rumbled, you know, with a quote, you know, fine because it's a string, but something is left before this. That actually starts with the comma. So now I'm inserting this something into the first uh, index, which is going to be it was a dark and stormy night. So definitely it was a dark and stormy night will be the first year before the lightning flashed and the tumble, thunder rumbled. Okay. Afterwards, I'm also impeding the lightning struck. Despite the fact that I've added a new line, so it's going to come to the second line. The lightning struck that comes to this to another line. So I'm now appending a bracket. Which definitely comes to another line. This is, this is just a new line, just break in um, HTML, just break, come to the new line. Now I'm doing a follow up, which actually gets um, the first index as i, and it's going to iterate until, gets, until the argument is less than 10, yeah, 11. So the i plus plus continues to add one to it. So as it is adding one, something is being done, which is the appending of the first um, index by appending. And also appending the space to it, you know, just giving it one, two, three, four, five, six to ten. You know, that is what that's gonna do. But all this will still be speed out, you know. Cool. No, so so after that, I say append the times, you know, we want to know how many times, which is this, that it's it's occurred. So with that, we passed everything and we formatted everything to string method. So that string will be able to speed them out as we all wanted. So let me run this quickly and let's see what's gonna do. This is just a full example of building strings, you know, from the scratch, from file. Okay, you get to see what this. It was a dark and stormy night. Fine, this was passed into it because that's the best index. The lightning flash and the tondo robot. Wow, that's cool. 
So a new line is going to drop it down to another line. The lightning struck. The lightning struck. Okay. Now we are appending this to it. A new line. So it's going to drop to another line. So we, are, we now do a sort of iteration for line uh, for numbers, which is going to start from one and count to ten. So we are we we afterwards we append uh, a space to it, which, which is actually this space, the space in between the bracket and the times, and we also append the times which is this. Do you get it? We, have, we first of all append the closing bracket, which is this, and afterwards we append the times. So in a, in a nutshell, we now speed it out to string, so that we're going to have it speed out to string. I think you really understand that. If you don't, rewind and try to get yourself acclimatized to string building, you will use it in the course of your uh, Java programming application. You, uh, you you won't continue to always concatenate. You can also concatenate, but in some complex situation, you try to append and insert and to string, you know, the method. This will make your code more cleaner. And also, don't avoid to overuse the stream builder because of uh, thread and some concurrency which can be uh, conflicting with it. Thank you very much for listening. Have a wonderful time and Stick with me, I still have a lot of um, modules on string processing. Have a wonderful time once more, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.